as part of my role, I have the incredible opportunity to be involved in building international collaborations with Indonesia on behalf of the University of Nottingham. And it truly is a pleasure to be part of that team and have me shape such an important partnership. Now, we have a lot of wonderful talks today, but to uh, start us off, I'd like to maintain or improve our, our standard of living. I've just written a few down here to help me sort of focus, but supply of sustainable energy. Uh, I'm not here going to talk about too many things, but to celebrate of our contributions here. Uh, the next speaker at the moment to be able to welcome our students. And all I want to do in the next two or three minutes is just to provide a bit of a narrative as to the IDTP, the successes that we've had, as Sam has mentioned, um, but also to point the way forward. And I'm not claiming these attributes. We've got people like the students in chemical and environmental engineering. I started my PhD on October 2019, and my topic is about pigland, or we call it in Bahasa Indonesia, lahan gambut, which gives us big challenge and opportunities. I am super touched by Dr. David Lars, Bagus Mulyadi, and Matteo Icardi. Indonesia is the country with the top uh, in my group, which we will then hopefully be transferring to Indonesia. Uh, I'll just skip over that for now. So one of, one of the actual, what we call the granddaddy of the field was this gentleman here, Professor Larry Hedge. He passed away two or three years ago. But he actually developed this product called Bioglass. And it's a glass of a specific formulation. Which uh, Supervisor, Professor Ulias. So uh, we name our initiative as Nothing Hand Indonesia Collaboration for Cancer Research and Training. But we would like to expand it more into a broader clinical research uh, uh, scheme. And our partner in Indonesia, we've been in within one year, we've been working with so many uh, uh, Indonesian cancer <coughs> collaborators. And this is active collaboration, it's not like one of thing. So our main uh, collaborator is Faculty of Medicine uh, in the University of Guatemala when I did my uh, first degree. And with them, we got uh, we uh, Newton Bank funded this year. And then, but all, apart from that, we also work with the uh, uh, University of ERC, University of Indonesia, uh, University of Sriwijaya, University of Hassanuddin in Sulawesi, and of course my beloved institution, University of Mamadia. We also work with LIPI as one of our main collaborators, Kalbe Pharma, as Esti mentioned as well. So we have a common collaborator here. And then, uh, because we work in cancer field, obviously we engage with uh, Indonesia Cancer Foundation as well. <coughs> yeah. It's just a glimpse of what we do in one year. So Prof. Yudas and with uh, Professor, uh, Professor Abi as well have been uh, in Indonesia twice. And then we've been visiting our collaborator and do many uh, uh, exchange and knowledge activities. And then we have recently introduced universal health coverage, or BBTS, which is now always under scrutiny of public because of the deficit that we, they've been always suffering from. And then as a the result, they have list, delisted uh, some cancer drugs from their uh, universal coverage. The list is go uh, more and more uh, uh, from what initially we uh, announced uh, in 2019. So we cannot uh, study all cancer. So we need to pick at least one or two for molecular profiling of cancer through research and knowledge transfer. And then um, in 10 or 15 years, this is what we're hoping to achieve. We're going to have Indonesia, UK, uh, Cancer and Molecular Medicine Center of Excellence through all Hopefully we get the more support on uh, making this vision uh, come true. So there's been, within a year, we've been doing a few uh, things in terms of partnership with Indonesia. So it was initially, the kickoff was in March 2019, so about a year ago actually, when Dr. Bang, who is Prof. Ilyas, uh, Dr. Abi, who is in Indonesia, we're delivering uh, 
capacity building uh, in the market. This is the team, and then I'll hand it over to Rob Elias if he wants to say. Uh, did did you have my slides? Yes. You did? Oh, okay. Oh, don't show them all. <laughs> that's how you ruined the surprise. <laughs> so thank you very much. That's a great overview. And I have to say, Santi has been a, a major driving person for a lot of the work that we've done. Uh, so, uh, Your Excellency, uh, lovely to see you. Professor Aziz, lovely to see you again. We, we, we saw him last night. We went out for dinner at Mr. Man's. Well, I, I got uh, stopped for uh, whether I was had coronavirus or not. But Professor Aziz just walked straight in. <laughs> he obviously has that uh, uh, that air of good health about him. Anyway. <laughs> uh, before I start, uh, I just wanted to give a very, very sincere uh, thanks to Santi, who's uh, done a lot of the Krishna uh, department. So I'm just going to kind of give a, a, a brief overview of uh, a slide, so kind of. Uh, less granular vision of what we're hoping to achieve over the next uh, five to ten years. And so, as Santi said, we, we have this initiative which we call NICRAN, so uh, this is uh, her logo here. Uh, and uh, on that, we've got about uh, uh, so five different uh, streams of activity. So, one is uh, training capacity building, uh, one is the development of diagnostic tests, because that's what we do uh, in my lab. Uh, and then I've got so three different categories of research, uh, which I call support. Uh, now back to the uh, issue that I'd like to, to share with you about the collaboration between Indonesian government uh, represented by the embassy here and the uh, University of Nottingham in particular uh, in teaching Indonesian uh, language here. Uh, when I first came here about four years ago, uh, my first uh, mission to be accomplished with the, the teaching of Indonesian, but I, because I did not know a lot about UK, because I uh, was educated in, uh, uh, in Australia, so I was, I was overwhelmed with uh, the situation. And when I visited schools and universities uh, offering the potential collaboration about teaching Indonesian, help having a, a cultural program and some other collaboration. The only question that I always received from uh, the institutions is like this. Are you serious, this one? I said, what's going on, actually? Uh, and this was because every time that the embassy offered the collaboration, the programs to the institutions, there was no follow-up. Uh, uh, from from our side, this is our fault. But that time, I convinced the uh, institution that, well, if I, as long as I'm here in the UK in London, I said, uh, I can guarantee that the program will be going on, and I can guarantee that uh, we will uh, follow this up. And uh, I understand that Indonesian language is not the language that is famous for. Or not even known by uh, many of uh, uh, British people, by uh, the UK people here. <coughs> but I had to find the best strategy of uh, delivering this uh, program. And then when it's after uh, one year and a half, uh, because it's not only in London, UK is not only in London, and I had to, to disseminate this after uh, my first success in London, uh, offering Indonesian students to school, uh, I, I thought I had to uh, create another uh, program for universities and schools uh, outside, the, uh, outside London. And the first thing that I had in mind, uh, I had to uh, go through the jungle. Yeah, I was contacted the person in Nottingham and offered Indonesian language. And the, the president of the uh, PPI, the Indonesian Student Association said, oh, it's not easy to talk to the right person. I said, okay, talk to the right person then, and you have to find the right person. <laughs> and then I, I will follow this up. And then uh, the Student Association worked very hard at that time. And then 
I had a program in the collaboration with the Minister of, Educa uh, Minister of Research, Technology, and Higher Education in 2018, when there was a lecturer from Nusa Tenggara Timur, right, from Nusa Cendana, she asked me uh, to find an institution, right, where she got the funding from the ministry to teach Indonesian. I said, okay, this is a good chance there. And then I contacted the University of Nottingham, and it was welcomed warmly yeah, by the uh, <coughs> university. And then, since then, uh, 2018, right, when uh, Lenny Sue, that time, the first uh, Indonesian language teacher here, she came here uh, and stayed here for uh, three and a half months, and then she uh, was uh, sponsored by the ministry, and then I came here to convince the university that this is a program that we can continue. This is not the only program, and this is not a one-off program. And the success made by Lenny uh, continued uh, when the next uh, Indonesian language teacher, Fera, uh, came here last year. And she s stayed here for another uh, three and a half months. And then uh, I keep contacting Jason, uh, Debbie, and also uh, Nicola and Orona. Uh, well, how about we, if we continue this program uh, for the next year and they are very supportive in this and then uh, early this year uh, <laughs> last month uh, we invited another Indonesian language teacher and she is here now Manda. so uh, she just arrived here two weeks ago <laughs> because our commitment is to keep having this program in place yeah, not only for the informal Indonesian language teaching yeah, for uh, uh, the evening classes, I asked uh, Orana and and uh, Nicola, yeah, the head of the school, how about if we uh, offer this uh, program across the faculties? And the question from <coughs> them was like this: How can you guarantee that you will send the teacher when we need them? I said, okay, again, I have to promise, as long as I'm here, I can guarantee. And when I return, I will push them, the Minister of Education in Jakarta, to provide this teacher yeah, uh, for Indonesian language teacher. And then they said, yeah, Orana and, and Nicola uh, told me, okay, uh, for 2020, we begin with uh, the short program yeah, from February to March, and then we want to continue this by having a longer term uh, contract for the teacher from September this year up to June to prepare the module. I said, okay, I can guarantee this uh, uh, period of time. And then yesterday, I was lucky because Orana, uh, uh, Nicola uh, can convince us that the program for uh, delivering the module, Indonesian module, for next year will take place here in the University of Nottingham. And this is the first program of this kind in the UK university. So thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much for your uh, commitment and also for the support that you have uh, given us. And I understand that my term of office here uh, in London will uh, come to an end very soon, right? probably in two or three months. Uh, but uh, I will always support from, from Jakarta uh, that this program will continue as uh, required. And this will begin in our uh, academic year uh, in 2021. And what I want from our Indonesian uh, students here of course, to spread the words that, and also from our partners here in uh, universities, to spread the words, uh, invite as many in, uh, students as possible to take Indonesian as part of their study. Thank you very much. <laughs> Contacted the person in Nottingham and offered Indonesian language 
And the, the president of the uh, PPI, the Indonesian Student Association, said, oh, it's not easy to talk to the right person. I said, OK, talk to the right person then, and you have to find the right person. And then I've, I will follow this up. And then uh, the Student Association worked very hard at that time. And then uh, I had a program in the collaboration with the Minister of, uh, Minister of Research, Technology, and Higher Education in 2018, when there was a lecturer from Nusa Tenggara Timur, right, from Nusa Cendana. She asked me uh, to find an institution right, where she got the funding from the ministry to teach Indonesian. I said, OK, this is a good chance there. And then I contacted. University of Nottingham, and it was welcomed warmly yeah, by the uh, <coughs> university. And then, since then, uh, 2018, right, when uh, Lenny Sue, that time, the first uh, Indonesian language teacher here, she came here uh, and stayed here for uh, three and a half months, and then she uh, was uh, sponsored by the ministry, and then I came here to convince the university that this is a program that we can continue. This is not the only program, and this is not a one-off program. And the success made by Lenny uh, continued uh, when the next uh, Indonesian language teacher, Fera, uh, came here last year. And she s stayed here for another uh, three and a half months. And then uh, I keep contacting Jason, uh, Debbie and also uh, Nicola and Orona. Uh, well, how about we, if we continue this program uh, for the next year? And they are very supportive in this. And then uh, early this year, uh, <laughs> last month, uh, we invited another Indonesian language teacher. And she is here now, Manda. So uh, she just arrived here two weeks ago. <laughs> Because our commitment is to keep having this program in place, yeah, not only for the informal Indonesian language teaching, yeah, for uh, uh, the evening classes, I asked uh, Orana and, and uh, Nicola, yeah, the head of the school, how about if we uh, offer this uh, program across the faculties? And the question from them <coughs> was like this, how can you guarantee that you will send the teacher when we need them? I said, okay, again, I have to promise, as long as I'm here, I can guarantee. And when I return, I will push them, the Minister of Education in Jakarta, to provide this teacher yeah, uh, for Indonesian language teacher. And then they said, yeah, Orana and, and Nicola uh, told me, Okay, uh, for 2020, we begin with uh, the short program yeah, from February to March. And then we want to continue this by having a longer term uh, contract for the teacher from September this year up to June to prepare the module. I said, okay, I can guarantee this uh, uh, period of time. And then yesterday, I was lucky because Orana, uh, uh, Nicola uh, can convince us that the program for uh, delivering the module, Indonesian module, for next year will take place here in the University of Nottingham. And this is the first program of this kind in the UK university. So thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, commitment and also for the support that you have uh, given us. And I understand that my term of office here uh, in London will uh, come to an end very soon, right? probably in two or three months. Uh, but uh, I will always support from, from Jakarta uh, that this program will continue as uh, required. And this will begin in our uh, academic year uh, in 2021. And what I want from our Indonesian uh, students here, of course, to spread the words that 
and also from our partners here in uh, universities to spread the words, uh, invite as many in, uh, students as possible to take Indonesian as part of their study. Thank you very much. It's very quick. It's very unusual, you know, in any uh, uh, initiative that involves Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I think this even, you know, warrants, you know, a, a special uh, attention. You know, probably, you know, we can make this, you know, as a case study on how the uh, Indonesia-UK cooperation in education and research, uh, 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 you, know, you know, can be, you know, I think that's a very good uh, a part of the a collaboration between you know, the two countries. Uh, I know more than before, uh, more convinced that you know this will even you know develop faster. Uh, we did start with very good omen this morning. I met with the professor, you know, Professor Andy Long, and then we were exactly the same time. <laughs> so, uh, so that's probably a sign. We know Shandong also looking for sign, so it's a good sign. Uh, but you know, after listening to all the present uh, presentations, uh, with such you know, I think a wide range of uh, subjects that you know the uh, uh, Nottingham University and uh, many uh, other Indonesian uh, institutions have been working, you know, within you know very short you know period of time. So I think you know we are you know quite uh, confident that you know even though after I go back to Indonesia, to my, I finish my my work here and also process is finish it, it would be difficult for anybody you know to try to you know re reverse the process. You know, because you know it's already you know uh, took off, and now you know the only way is actually uh, only uh, uh, forward. So the IDTP uh, is part of the whole you know wider collaboration between uh, the uh, university and uh, Indonesia. You know I think you know will uh, become an important part. So that we will continue to you know uh, uh, bring uh, like a form of glue you know to all the research that we already you know, already have.